the entering saint phone. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. In his presence are majesty and splendor, strength and honor in his holy place. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brother, and let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when, after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times, you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times, you associated yourselves with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property, knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence. It will have great recompense. You need endurance to do the will of God and receive what he has promised. For after just a brief moment, he who is just, he who is to come shall come. He shall not delay, but my just one shall live by faith. And if he draws back, I take no pleasure in him. We are not among those who draw back and perish, but among those who have faith and will possess life. The word of the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. By the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and he approves his way. Though he fall, he does not lie prostrate, for the hand of the Lord sustains him. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. 
He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, this is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the ground, on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, to what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is sown in the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth branches, large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. The kingdom of God is like. Our Lord tells parables. And he says that the kingdom of God is like a man who scatters seed on the ground. From very small, insignificant seeds comes a large plant, the mustard seed that produces a plant large enough for the birds of the sky to build nests. We are invited to reflect on that and our participation in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not just heaven. Jesus came to earth to begin the kingdom of God. All of us who are baptized are already members of the kingdom of God, not complete full members, not in the way we will be once with God's grace, we enter into eternity in heaven. And we are members of that kingdom. And that kingdom is a mystery. And it starts very small and grows in ways that we cannot see, as we cannot see the seed beneath the soil. And yet God is inviting us to open our mind, our heart, and our soul to his word, but also to participating in those sufferings that the author of the letter to the Hebrews spoke about. And when, when those sufferings come, we ask for the Lord's grace to help us to focus on him and to know his presence in our lives 
and his grace to assist us in our joys, in our sorrows, in our sufferings, and to continue to open our heart to the ways that he reveals himself. He reveals himself in so many little ways, in so many larger ways, and we ask his grace to continue to proclaim him by what we say and do. That our Holy Father and all who are entrusted with teaching God's word may be blessed with wisdom and courage, we pray to the Lord. That the leaders of the world who have the task of governing may carry out their duties with justice and maintain peace among nations, we pray to the Lord. That nations may repent of the sins of abortion, euthanasia, and neglect of the poor and weak, and may reform their laws to protect every human life, we pray to the Lord. That Christians may join together across denominational lines to help the hungry and homeless, we pray to the Lord that God will bring an end to the coronavirus pandemic afflicting the world and for protection against sickness and disease, we pray to the Lord. For all who, not all, who are followers of Jesus Christ may open their hearts to the grace of God and embrace a continuous conversion away from the ways of the world to be more committed followers of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for Verna Kellogg, and for our own intentions, united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we add in silence. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers. Grant them, if it is your will and for our good, we ask them in union with the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon. Look toward the Lord and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>